Hey guys, this is Jason from Glitch in the System, and today we are going to be doing our first session of exploratory testing. And the app or website that we are going to be exploratory testing is Burger King. So stay tuned, I'm going to spend some time doing some exploratory testing of the Burger King website today. So you may be asking, why the Burger King website? About a week ago, I ordered online delivery through the Burger King website. Delivery guy showed up, everything looked good. About five minutes later, I realized that I was missing one Whopper. I did what any reasonable person would do. First thing I did was to call back the driver. The driver didn't answer the first time. I called him back again. He answered, but then he pretended like he couldn't hear what I was saying. I then texted him, but no response. Still to this day, no response. So the driver was working for DoorDash, so Burger King uses DoorDash as their delivery system when you order from their website. So I went on to customer service on DoorDash and they're like, sorry dude, we can't do anything for you because you didn't order through DoorDash, you ordered through Burger King, so you have to call the Burger King store. So I called the Burger King store. Here's what they told me. They told me that I would have to go to the Burger King store and pick up my missing Whopper. So why would I want to go to the store and pick up a single Whopper when I had ordered for a delivered Whopper? So long story short, this is kind of why I want to test the Burger King app, but also other things that I found was while trying to make my order, uh, the website wasn't working properly when I was trying to do certain things. And I will point those out today as I run across them again, but let's go ahead and start this up. So first things first, I'm going to use this uh, X-Ray Exploratory app. So let's create a new session here. And we're going to call this Burger King. And let's see, charter. Let's see, describe your test charter, including its mission. So mission, mission, uh, order food, objectives, uh, have it your way. So. That's, that's Burger King's slogan, right? Have it your way. Or at least it used to be. Maybe I'm really old. All right, so good enough. We'll, we'll figure things out on the way. This doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and start the session. And let's see, I want this screen. Sure. Okay, so timer has started. I'm gonna spend about an hour my time looking for stuff, but I'm, I'm just gonna cut the video to bits and pieces that are important to you guys. First thing I'm gonna do on the website is I'm gonna hit inspect and go to console just so that I can see if there's any errors popping up when I'm doing things. So uh, I have my levels set to just show warning and errors. So if, you, if there's any warnings or errors, then it should show up in there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is order delivery because that's what I did. Um, I have Disneyland's address in my clipboard, so let's do that. And we want the one in Anaheim, California. And then let's try a fake phone number. Okay, and let's see. Delivery instructions. Uh, don't forget my food. All right, so it looks like it knows that this is not a valid phone number. So I think it's probably hinting off of the area code. So I can do like a 206 and let's try that. So that doesn't work either. So it has something in it that is telling it it's not a valid phone number. But that one apparently is, so that's cool. Let's go to our favorites and let's see if we can find anything. I'm, I'm looking for, for some deals. Doesn't look like you got any deals. Oh, fun. You see that? So if I go to flame grilled beef, I get a I get a blank page here. So that's let's let's take a picture of that. So screenshot. So there's a screenshot. Um you can see that there's no there's no things here. There's no flame grilled beef. So if I click on that section, there's no stuff there, right? And put some steps in. So steps, one, select, I'm just gonna not put the one there. I'm just gonna say select uh, delivery order. And then second thing is select flame grilled beef. 
and then actual, I'm going to say nothing is displayed. Okay. All right, so this this is the fun part. So I had something bad happen. So I I, cre I found a bug, but now I need to figure out exactly what I did to make that bug happen. So let's see. Um, offers our favorites. So I remember looking at this. Oh, there we go. So. Uh, GraphQL error, so uncaught error, GraphQL error, cannot query field, tablet delivery on type vendor configs. Did you mean SciComm delivery? So I'm not sure what I did to make that happen. A big part of uh, exploratory testing is that you just explore. Just click around, see, see things. There's no structure, there's no rhyme or reason behind things. You're just kind of trying to do things in a user sort of way. Okay. So let's let's take our time. So let's let's remember what we did before. So before we did this, um, we actually had a bad phone number, right? And the fact that they let me do this at all is ridiculous. That that's come on, guys. All right, let's try this. Okay, so add to mobile order, and let's let's do one. So you can do all this customization stuff here. That's all fun and games. So typically what I would do here is I would mess with all these things at go do plus and minus and plus and minus and see, see make sure everything works. But right now, let's just take the default. So this is called happy path, take the default. So let's add another one, but this time I'm going to mess with stuff. So it says no cheese. That's gonna add regular cheese. You can't add extra bacon. So this first guy here, I'm gonna add extra I'm just gonna hit the plus sign once on everything so whatever it was as the default it's now plus one okay the second guy actually let's go ahead and just uh, submit that let's just make sure that works before I because it's gonna get complicated if I don't so it says add to order but what happened do you notice that my cart did not Increase, uh, da, 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 da. not valid on specialty versions, not valid with any other coupons or offers, valid only at participating US Burger King restaurants, not valid, one per guest. So one per guest is the thing. The problem here is that I have one in my cart. I do all my stuff. I hit add to cart and it doesn't tell me that it didn't add it to my cart. It just silently fails. So that's, that's no bueno. If there's no error telling me that I have a problem, then I'm just gonna try again, and I'm gonna try again, and it's just gonna make me mad, and I don't know why it doesn't work, because me, like most other people, when we're ordering food or using websites and stuff, we're not reading the f fine print that says one per order. You need to let us know when things are not working. You can't just nope out of it. Let's try one more. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna load this guy up. So I'm gonna click the plus sign everywhere. You're going to get extra everything, whether you like it or not. And then this one, I'm going to nope out of everything. So basically, somebody wants the whole buffet, and then somebody just wants some meat and toast. Add to cart. That works. Check out. Let's make sure. All right. So here we go. We're seeing all these errors here. Just for fun, let's, let's go a little deeper here. Let's go to network. Let's see if we have any errors. GraphQL failed. So you cannot add and subtract items from two different burgers at the same time. Why is there a refresh button here? I just noticed that. That is really silly. Okay. So this, this, this one up here that the browser gives us is not good enough, so you have to have your own customized refresh button. So I really don't like that when you choose a delivery you put an address in like this you select it and hit say deliver here uh and then you go to offers you only get those two offers but if you go to here actually if you go to restaurants put in your address do this and then select the specific restaurant and you go to offers then you get 
all of this. One doesn't give you all this stuff and the other does. So it should be the same workflow. So that's definitely an issue here. Um, let me let me play around with the responsiveness a little bit. So here we go. So we are in, let's do like an iPhone X. Cool. So this is not good because the button is overlapping the thing. So you can't actually see what it is. Okay, I'm confused. The buttons are different. What's more do? More is the menu. Okay. How do you close the menu? You can't close the menu. Oh my goodness. All right, I think I'm going to stop here. This kind of shows that even a corporate multi-billion dollar company that has tons of money and uh, resources at their disposable can have websites that are semi-functional and that they have, have issues. So this really shows you the importance of QA in a IT department. You can't just have developers. You need somebody to QA the stuff and make sure that things are working the way they are. For me, customer experience is always the thing. So uh, the other week, I spent probably like an hour trying to order the darn Burger King that I, I still never got my Whopper. So last week I spent probably an hour trying to order that $12.99 meal uh, with modifications because my, my daughter's one of those who just likes bun and meat and cheese and doesn't want anything else. But as you can see, the cart breaks at that point when you have uh, different variations of, of stuff. That was really frustrating and I was like very close to giving up, but I worked and worked at the system and I wasn't getting paid for it, but I really wanted that delivery and my daughter really wanted her customized burger so i figured out some some work around to it uh, i think i think it was like maybe you had to leave the pickles alone and then everything was fine um something silly like that things are not working they're likely just going to go off and uh, buy food somewhere else all right so that was the very first iteration of our exploratory testing of websites. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe, the like button, and the bell. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to leave a comment and tell me what other website that you have come across that's buggy and we wanna call out the developers and the companies to make sure that they fix them. And maybe just let me know of a website that would be fun to test and I'll put that on here. Okay, until next time, see ya.